थर्ड जनवरी 2024 मॉर्निंग मुर्शली ओम शांति बापदादा मधुपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन बिलोंग टू द फादर एंड ग्लोरीफाई द फादर्स नेम द नेम विल बी ग्लोरीफाइड बाय योर बिकमिंग कंप्लीटली प्योर यू आल्सो हैव टू बिकम टोटली स्वीट क्वेश्चन व्हाट वन कंसर्न do your children have at the conference age that you won't have in the golden age answer at the conference age you have the one concern of becoming pure the father has made you free from worry in every other aspect you make effort so that you can shed your old bodies in happiness you know that you will remove those old costumes and put on new ones Each of your children should ask your heart how much happiness you have and how much you remember the father om shanti the spiritual father explains to the sweetest long lost and now found children he explains to them and also teaches them he teaches you the secrets of the creator and the beginning the middle and the end of creation he also says become full of all virtues and embed divine qualities by staying in remembrance you will become satva pradhan you know that the world is tama pradhan at this time the world was satva pradhan and after 5000 years it has now become tama pradhan this is an old world it would be said of everyone this one was and the new world or this one was and the land of peace the father sits here and explains to you spirits or oh, spiritual children you definitely have to become satva pradhan you definitely have to claim your inheritance from the father you definitely have to remember me your father worldly children also remember their father as they get older they claim a right to a limited inheritance You are the children of the unlimited father. You have to claim the unlimited inheritance from the father. There is now no need to do devotion, etc. Your children have come to know that this is a university. All human beings have to study. You have to make your intellects unlimited. This old world is now about to change. Those who are now tama pradhan will become satva pradhan. Your children know that at this time you are claiming your inheritance of unlimited happiness from the unlimited father we now have to follow the directions of the one spiritual father your souls are becoming satva pradhan on the spiritual pilgrimage of remembrance and you will then have to go to the satva pradhan world you understand that you are brahmins and that you belong to the father you are studying and the study is called knowledge the path of devotion it separate the father speaks this knowledge to your brahmins no one else knows of this knowledge they don't even know how the father the ocean of knowledge who is also the teacher teaches baba continues to explain many topics the number one aspect is to belong to the father and glorify the father's name and become completely pure you also have to become completely sweet thus is godly knowledge god sits here and teaches us you have to remember that highest on high father it is a matter of a second to consider your souls to be a soul your souls understand that you were residents of the land of peace and that you then came down here to play your parts souls continue to take birth and rebirth We have now completed our parts of 84 births number wise you have to understand the story as well as the spot the secrets of the drama are also in your intellects you know that this is your last birth and that you have met the father in this last birth the old world changes when you complete your 84 births you know this unlimited drama the 84 births and also the study having taken 84 baths you have now reached the end you are now studying and will then go to the new world 
New ones continue to come. They continue to have faith in one aspect or another. Some become engaged in the study. It is in their intellects that they are becoming pure and satapradhan. By becoming pure, we will continue to make progress. Baba has explained, the more you stay in remembrance, the more your souls will accordingly continue to become pure. Your children have the whole drama in your intellects. You also know that you have come here having left everything of this world behind. You mustn't see whatever you see with those eyes. All of it is going to end. This is now your final birth. No one else know the whole cycle. The father has now come to make you Satapradhan from Tamapradhan. Those examinations take place after 12 months. Your pilgrimage of remembrance has not yet been completed. You remember many things. When this remembrance becomes firm, you will then not remember anything. Your souls came bodiless and you have to return bodiless. You know the part of every human being of this whole world. There are many human beings and the number of them continues to increase. There are now millions. There will be very few of us in the golden age. When we were taking birth and rebirth, the sex and cults of the different branches have grown and the tree has become very big. The original eternal deity religion has now disappeared. When we belong to the deity religion, we were Satapradhan. That religion has now become Tamapradhan, but it will become Satapradhan again and we are studying to become that. The more you study and teach others, the more benefit there will be for many. You should explain with a lot of love. You have to draw leaflets from airplanes. You have to explain in those leaflets that they have been doing devotion for birth after birth. To study the Gita is also to do devotion. It is not that anyone will become a deity from a human being by studying the Gita. According to the drama, it is only when the father comes that he shows you the way to become Satapratan. You then receive a Satapratan status. You understand that you are to become that through the study. This is God's part, Chala. God teaches you and makes you into Narayan from an ordinary human. There was him when we were Satapratan. Then we became Tamapratan. It is hell. The cycle has to turn. The father comes and inspires you to make effort to become deities from human beings and to become the masters of the world. You have to remember the father and imbibe divine virtues. You should not fight or quarrel. Deities never fight or quarrel. You have to become like them. You are the ones who were full of all virtues and you have to become that again on the basis of Srimad. You have to ask yourselves, to what extent am I happy? To what extent do I have faith? This should be remembered throughout the whole day. However, by it such that she makes you forget. You understand that you are with the Father as God's helpers in serving the world. Previously, you used to study limited studies, whereas you are now studying this unlimited study with the unlimited Father. This is an old body which will be shed at its own time. It cannot be shed in an untimely death. We have to shed these bodies in happiness. We will shed these dirty bodies and also renounce this old world and happily go back. When the a great event took place, people wear new clothes in happiness. You know that you will receive new bodies in the new world. We only have the one concern which is to become pure and free from all other worries. All of this is going to end. So what need is there to worry? You had been worrying for half a cycle on the path of devotion. Now for half a cycle, there will be no worries. Very little time now remains. There is the slightest worry to become pure. Then there won't be a single worry. This is a play of happiness and sorrow. There is happiness in the golden age and sorrow in the iron age. Baba has explained that. You can ask them, are you a resident of the golden age, the land of happiness 
or the Iron Age, the land of sorrow. You relieve these new things. It would definitely be said, you are now a resident of the land of sorrow. This has to be asked with a lot of love so that human beings can understand for themselves of which land they are residents. They would say that you have a very good way of asking questions, no matter how eminent or wealthy they may be. They are still residents of hell. The new world is called heaven. This old world is now the Iron Age. Thus questions are very good. It is also clear in the picture of the ladder. You should ask them, are you in the land of happiness or in the land of sorrow? Is this heaven or hell? Are you are a deity or a devil? Surely the golden age would be called the deity world. The iron age is called hell, the devil world. Therefore, you should ask them, are you residents of heaven, the golden age, the deity world, or are you residents of the iron age, the devil world? No matter how wealthy you are, where do you reside? You now have this knowledge. Previously, you never even thought of these things. It is now you understand that you are at the confluence age. Those who are in the iron age are impure residents of hell and they have to become pure again. That is why they call out, Oh, pure fire, come, come and make us pure. You also have to explain this. So many people come to you, but nevertheless, only a few out of a handful emerge. What I am, who I am, what I teach. Only a few understand and follow this. When you take an exhibition etc. around in the early morning, you should show that we are becoming residents of heaven through the study. The cycle continues to turn through the golden, silver, copper and iron ages. The whole cycle is in your intellects. You are again becoming the masters of the land of happiness and the land of peace. There is no mention of sorrow in the land of happiness. If you do not study fully, you will receive a low status. This is a common thing. Therefore, study this unlimited study and claim the unlimited inheritance. Simply consider yourselves to be souls and remember the unlimited father. Baba is very sweet. His directions are, finish all the bondages of the bodies, including those of your own bodies. Souls are imperishable. One moment, you adopt a body. The next moment, you shed it. It doesn't take long. At this time, day by day, everyone continues to become Tamapradhan. When we were Satapradhan, we had longer lifespans and there were very few of us. There was no other relation. Your lifespan increase on the basis of the efforts you make now. The more remembrance you have, the more your lifespan will increase. When you were Satapratha, your lifespans were very long. Then as you continue to descend, your lifespans became shorter. Your lifespans became shorter when you enter the Rajo stage. They became even shorter when you enter the Tamo stage. There is an example of a water well where the buckets are filled and emptied. So this is an unlimited water well. You are now being filled. When you have become completely full, you will then gradually begin to empty. This is also compared to a battery. After becoming Satapratham, we will then go back and then take 84 boats. The kingdom of Ravan begins after half a cycle. In the kingdom of Ravan, all are called residents of hell. Those who come later will come in hell. Firstly, you go to heaven. You receive the fruit of your devotion from the Father. It is understood this one has performed a lot of devotion and this is why he is taking knowledge. The Father has explained all of the secrets to you. You then have to explain them to others. Human beings have committed many different types of sin. The Father has now come and is giving you knowledge. It is only when the Father comes that he teaches you. For all of that time, you did not know this. 
you content to become sinful souls how do your souls become pure and charitable and how do you then become sinful souls who are residents of the golden age and who are the residents of the iron age you did not know any of this the father has now explained the father is also called the flame he has light as well as mind when you have light that is when you awaken you receive mind your life also becomes longer untimely death cannot come to you there you shed a body and take another in happiness there is no question of sorrow it is like a game there is the example of a snake you have played your parts from the golden age through to the iron age this is now fixed in your intellect baba is your father teacher and sadguru only your children know this number wise according to your efforts you have also understood rebirth and how many births you take how many births do you take as a brahman in bracket one birth some even take two or three births for example when someone sheds his body he carries the sanskars of a brahman because of having the sanskars of a brahman he will again come into the true brahman clan the clan of brahman souls will continue to increase they carry the sanskars of belonging to the brahman clan they can take two or three births if they have karmic accounts to settle they will shed their bodies and take others the soul will go from the brahman clan into the dt clan it is not a question of the body you now belong to the father you are the children of god and you are also the children of prajapata brahma you don't have any other relationships it is not a small matter to belong to the unlimited father you became the masters of the land of happiness you have simply recognized the great father and so your boats will go across acha to the sweetest be loved long last and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father baptada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point ask yourselves first one to what extent am i happy second one to what extent do i have the faith that i was full of all divine virtues and that i have to become that again on the basis of shrimad third one to what extent have i become satapradhan do i have the concern day and night to become pure and satapradhan second one you have to serve the world with the unlimited father study this unlimited study and teach others ain't any bondages of your body and your bodily relationships by having remembrance of the father blessing may you be a master almighty authority and make your stage man manabhav by having the awareness of being a master explanation keep this awareness constantly emerge i a soul am a caravan har a master a special soul a master almighty authority by having the awareness of being a master your mind intellect and sanskars will be controlled i am separate and a master with this awareness you will easily make your stage man manabhav this practice of being detached will make you karmatheet slogan to tolerate and accommodate defamation and disturbance means to fix your kingdom om shanti with avyakta silence experience the double light angelic stage silence means a soul as an embodiment of peace it's sitting in solitude and experiencing concentration of the mind and angelic with this concentration you especially attend to powers the power to listen and the power to make decisions these two powers resolve all problems in your worldly 
and your spiritual interactions. Through this, you easily make your stage double light and angelic. Aum. Shanti.